thank you for accompanying me on this risky mission. I have one more boon to ask of you. Surely you wish to know the reason why? Oh! Fred, children, you're not late for dinner. Let's follow. What is all this? It looks wrong. You've done well to come so far. Oh, look at you all, your skin and bones. Please, sit. Let us eat. Rachel, what the hell is this all about? Today is a very special ceremony. It's important to make sure you begin it with a full stomach. Please, eat, or it'll get cold. Stop these games! All of this is nothing more than holograms. Where are you keeping Julius? Bring him out here right now, damn you! Shh. Sweet Julius is fast asleep. He's been working so hard for your arrival. We mustn't wake him before it's time. I'm actually glad we have a moment. It seems like ages since we've had a proper talk. I want to hear everything. Let us talk until he awakens. Oh, first, I'd love to hear about your time in the Far East. Have you gone on many missions? All right, Rachel, just tell us what the hell you want. What kind of sick game are you playing? <laughs> oh, Gilbert, that's such a silly question. There's no game. You know all people are driven by their will. I taught you that. All I've done until this moment has been for the sake of mankind. To help the weak, ignorant, foolish mortals to survive the coming trial. Dr. Rachel, if I may ask a question of you. There's the shield I know and love. So clever. I've such fond memories of your childhood. Go ahead, my dear. Dr. Leia told us everything. About your father, the children at Magnolia Compass, the plague patients, the fall. She blames herself. But none of that explains why. Is all of this just for Julius? What are you even trying to achieve? Even before you began, you knew you'd hurt innocent people. How could you do something so wicked? You 
are as brilliant and insightful as always, Shield. I have a story that I wish to tell you all. Perhaps that will answer your questions. The story of a girl who became an origami. Rachel and I are getting along so much better now. She and I stay up and talk all the time. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Leah. Your mother is certainly looking down and smiling upon us from heaven. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. And Rachel's really, really nice now. We never fight at all anymore. But sometimes when we talk, she'll just stare off into nothing, Papa. She'll mumble something really quiet to herself and smile. <laughs> Don't worry, little Leah. When I was her age, I was always debating physics with the trees and laughing with the wind. Rachel has the spark. She may become a visionary scientist one day. It's crucial to learn how to converse with nature. Really? a scientist too so I can help her. I I can be one, right? Of course, my darling. You two will be amazing. My little girls working as one to make the world a better place. All of us. My sister, my father, even me. All born of human blood. We're all wicked. The best way is to swallow it all. Swallow until nothing will remain. But everything has to be eaten. Everything. Yes. Okay. I'll find someone. Someone who can devour all of this wicked world. This God was within me, always whispering in the dark, telling me how it could be done. I could end the chaos, it told me. I alone could bring unto the world a devouring apocalypse. Then I found my sweet Julius. He was extraordinary. His body could take any bias factor. He was chosen. Perfect. My hero will awaken soon as something far more than himself. All that's left are the final preparations for his great feast. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Please, follow me down. Unceasing truth in this world. Survival of the fittest. The weak must perish, and the strong survive. Nature has decreed it so. There are no exceptions, no denials to the supreme law. The devouring apocalypse swallows the great beast whole, ushers in the singularity's new order. An apocalypse has brought forth every major change since the birth of time. It is the resounding trumpet, the herald of the future. It is a divine apoptosis, by its sheer will excising wasted life, curbing a world that has evolved far beyond its granted limits. It has happened time and again, yet still impudent humans defy the mandate of my restless god. They protect They tainted its last attempt at singularity. They thought themselves immortal, banishing that infinite power to the darkness below. But they could never hold back my sweet Julius. Um, D, 
Do you guys think it's another hologram? Not this one. I don't need that doll anymore. There, see? Children, my blood's special forces will endure one final mission side by side. We are the final sacrifice to awaken Julius. God Eaters are in position. Watch for the enemy at all times. New orders are on the way. Ready to give chase if the Aragami attempts to leave.
right, let's do this. Is it done? Dr. Rachel. What's happening? The feast is laid. The devouring apocalypse has at last begun. Shatter and burn thy decrepit world. It is a power beyond human ken. Despair at its rise. I had hoped that you, my beautiful children, would stand with me. Would face the end of all time beside me. Alas, you have already chosen your path. You chose to wander in shadowed and dangerous woods. Now you shall sleep eternally. Farewell, flesh of my flesh. Farewell, blood. Let us meet again in the new world. A world uncorrupted. Julius, you must now awaken. <laughs> Look, Julius, it's morning. The sun is shining. All your new friends are waiting for you. Good morning to you, my dear Julius. It is a brand new day for all of us. Other choice. We must withdraw.
I'm afraid I have ill news. We considered your report and the results of bias field monitoring. At this point, we must assume that the transformation is complete. Julius has become a singularity. If that is so, I am afraid there is almost no hope of saving him. And if we allow the devouring apocalypse to begin, that is the end for all of humanity. All life will be purged, reset, and redistributed. The world will cease to exist in its current form. Director Sakaki! Is there anything we can do? There must be some way to stop it. Hmm... Let me begin by saying one thing. I have never agreed with sacrificing the few for the many. No matter how desperate, there is always a path to victory that doesn't require sacrifice. Miracles happen when hope rises. My friends have proven that truth to me. It is undeniable. Listen well. There may be a path to such a miracle here. Still, it will be a narrow one, and treacherous. One misstep. Well, you may still manage to stop the devouring apocalypse, but... The cost will be unbearably high. All of Blood, Miss Yuno, and others may lose their lives. Discuss it first among yourselves and with Miss Yuno. When you're ready, I'll tell you my plan. What do you mean, ready? We're ready now! It's reckless, dangerous, mad even. Yet I know that if I tell you, you'll begin without a second thought. I want to be completely honest with you first. Please, discuss it together. Think it over. You must come to a decision you won't regret. Think hard about who and what you fight for. really think we can stop something like the devouring apocalypse? What do you mean? I can't imagine how powerful it must be. We're ultra strong, I know, but are we really strong enough to fight something like that? You're all so incredible. If I'm being honest, I'm terrified. This is the first time I've ever chosen to fight like this. This must be how God Eaters always feel before a battle. I think I'm starting to understand. The captain is right. I believe so strongly in all of you. I will fight beside you with all the power I have to give. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are right. You know, I remember Julius told us something. The very first time we had field training together. Humanity has faced enemies since ancient times. Humanity has always prevailed. He told us that blood power and all that was just the strength of our resolve. And it's even stronger when we're a team. Yeah. The will to bring us together. We will stop the devouring apocalypse. And not only that, we'll bring Julius back.
It is a risk to be sure, but the only thing that can stop a devouring apocalypse is yet another devouring apocalypse. Director Sakaki, have you gone mad? Not at all. I mean, well, not this time. Listen, a devouring apocalypse begins with a singularity, such as Julius. They impose a devastating will to rewrite the world from scratch. With the power of another singularity to wake another devouring apocalypse, we could face this head on. I believe we would have the pure strength needed to counteract Julius' will. Before I even begin to explain singularities and apocalypses, I'll need to explain the Black Plague. You see, the plague is a mechanism used to create a singularity. Julius overcame a merciless natural selection process to prove himself capable of taking on this role. Miss Yuno and the other patients who contracted the plague couldn't endure the selection. They're failures, in a manner of speaking. Failures? Director, there's just no way. You mean every death because of the plague was meaningless? No, no, not at all, and I'll tell you why. Here's the twist. The plague patients are only failures when you consider there to be only one singularity. Do you all understand? If we combine the will of those infected, it may indeed be more than enough to counter the completed singularity. Well, in theory at least. <laughs> yes, in theory, but we have no way to accomplish that. Precisely, Seal. Now, the key to establishing a singularity is a powerful resonance, yes? After all is said and done, a singularity is merely a great will, and the expression of will is a great resonance. When multiple wills merge, they form a resonance, one that amplifies human hope. It multiplies that hope, spreading it over vast distances. Your blood unit is the ideal embodiment of that very resonance. Like as not, Blood Unit can't trigger a resonance that strong, and we fight at full strength. I'm afraid the infected have little chance. Ah, there's the rub. The plague is born of Oracle Cells, and the patients... Well, they don't have enough will to form an elegant resonance. However, will we solve the problem? Resonance is not the only harmony of human hope. It is not the only tool by which we can bind together will and strength. Lo, there are others. Isn't that right, Miss Yuno? Know? Huh? You've always held that music brings together the hearts of its listeners as one, correct? Yes, I have. I... I want to believe that. Good answer. I want you to sing, Miss Yuno, know, like you've never sung before. Melody will be the catalyst to bind together our wills. I will. I'll do everything I can. Our success will depend on each and every one of you. When her song has bound the will of humanity together, use the evoke ability that dwells in your blood. The resonance it triggers will amplify this collective will and complete the singularity. You see? In brief, Miss Yuno gathers the willpower, and you, my good captain, shall amplify its strength with the power in your veins. We will create an apocalypse to fight an apocalypse. Mad? Almost certainly. But it's the only choice we have.
happening to Julius? Blood, come in. We're preparing to activate the devouring apocalypse. Director Sakaki, belay that order. Each of us can mend our shortcomings. When we're together, our weaknesses fade away. And only strength remains. Julius needs us more than ever. Let's bring him home! That's right. If we gave up on him now, all his dreams would be lost. And we're not gonna let that happen! So hold on, Julius! We're coming! Let's do this. We carry Romeo's strength inside us. There's no way we'll let Julius fall here!
back, everyone. Right, leave it to me. I can help, I'm sure of it. They won't give in. Miss Takamine, this battle is not yet won. Go and get everything up and running. Hurry, woman! Got it, Director. Almost there. The bias field is being disrupted. It's just like the first. The bias field of a devouring apocalypse. Miss Takamine, report. Are we ready? Satsuki here. We're all set up for the show, Director. Just give us a spotlight. It's begun. Blood, retreat immediately! The field's fluctuating wildly. All right, let the song begin. I'm heading back to the lobby now. Get the live feed connected. You know, time to take the stage. You know, song fated to become our funeral dirge. What is that? Listen. The song. Can you all hear that? Can you hear it? You know your song. The whole world sings your melody. Fields are flowing towards Friar. They're... they're coming from all over the world. Scientifically speaking, sound is little more than vibration in the air. But this is so much more. There is true power here. This is the power that turns the hope of one man to the hope of all. That takes one small drop and turns it to an ocean. The song of life calls to you Former days we lost in Aria One candle fighting back the night The song of life sings to you Like your stars of you, my love Let the wind guide you Let the sun defend you They're gaining strength! Both of the apocalypses are growing! 
This should begin simultaneously. Five minutes and... No! Two minutes and counting! Melody twining in rhythm. Emotion inherent in the words that we sing. Where music and hope align. Yes, this resonance will be wondrous. Blood unit, it's as you heard. The apocalypse is rising. What's coming will be well beyond the realm of man's comprehension. Julius, you're all right! Please, come back with us. I would love nothing more, Nana. Truly. Yet, I cannot stop the apocalypse from beyond this place. You have to stay. The singularity must remain here. That's the truth, isn't it, Julius? Yes. I am sorry, but I am bound to this place. There is no way for me to return. Then, we'll stay here with you. No, Sheil. No. You must go back. I entrust to you the protection of every soul holding to this precious song. It's not an order. It's simply my heartfelt wish. My friends, this is where I must face my final battle. You cannot intervene here. You belong safe on the other side. It is the only way. If somehow, if you can forgive me, I want more than anything for us to fight together again. As one. As blood. Julius! Please. Take it from here. As you wish, Julius. We'll... We'll keep everyone safe for you. I swear it. Gil, please. We can't just... Shield, sweetie, come on. We need to do as Julius said. You're one of us, Shield. And you always will be. We have to do this. So please stay with us. Be brave for Julius. 